Welcome back to Daytime Live. Now, show jumping is a sport that we don't really hear much about in Jamaica, but it is a sport that we also champion in. Uh, Jamaican's top equestrian, Julian Hyde, is here to tell us about the sport and how he got into it. Welcome, Julian. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Um, the show has been amazing so far, so well, really, really appreciate it. Julian, Julian, hold on, hold on a second. I have a question. How did a boy from Uwatan, St. Catherine, get into show jumping? And um, was this something that you always knew that you were going to do? Boy, I'm, 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 I'm really... Julian, I'm talking to Yeah, he's frozen a little bit. Julian, I want to talk to but, you. I'm going to show No, jump. but I really want to know because, like, you know normally I say black people, I do them something, man. Yeah, there's a couple of things they say black people can't do. We can't swim. I would ride horse, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, and now we're telling people that's not the case. It's interest, interestingly enough, you know, like, last year, I started playing polo last year. Yes, I saw the pictures. In, in January, so, like... And you, you were know, fabulous. Understand. Give thanks, man. It's a, it's a, different, it's a different vibe. And a, it really is. It really is an amazing. Feeling. How did you find the relationship, though? I don't know how familiar you are with horses and stuff, but you know that interaction because you have to trust, trust. You know, <laughs> trust. The, how was that? It, it was weird at first. Like you know, at, at first you know you, you really have to kind of yeah have to get to know the horse. Mm -hmm. You know that is the first that is the first thing. You know, I think Julian is I think Julian is back now. Julian. Yes, I'm so sorry about that. You I'm just apologies. leave us, just leave us, no problem, leave us. I had to yes. go into telling her a little bit about my, my, my polar experience. Yes, <laughs> yes, brought it in. <laughs> sorry about that. So, yeah, man, where were we? Where were we? Let's I, go, I was in. asking sorry. you, how did a boy from Uerton get into, into show jumping? And is it something yes. you always knew that you wanted to do? Well, um, for me personally, I always like to tell everybody I'm a country boy, you know. So, um, as you know, I grew up in Yorton and I used to live close to a farm owned by a lady na named um, Mrs. Betty Waits. Um, and I used to pass the farm every day and driving with my mother, I used to say, Mommy, please, please, can we go and see the horses? Just take me to see the horses until she gave in after a few weeks of me pressuring her. And then I went over to the farm. Um, I was introduced to the horses by Susan Waits. And after that, I just fell in love with the animal. I mean, you didn't have to ask me to go there. I would be there even if I didn't have a lesson. I was there just to help out. So definitely from, from about the age of seven, I knew that I wanted to, to, to be with horses, you know, to ride and to compete. Wow. So Julian, quickly, um, explain to us what show jumping is. All right, so show jumping is... Um, I like to say this, it's, it's one of the only Olympic sports that two athletes compete together. That's the horse and the, the rider. Um, it was developed way back in the days, back in, um, in, in Europe. It, it actually came from, from the, the riders that used to ride in the cavalry. And it just developed over the years into a sport. But it's really riding a horse and jumping over hurdles who can do it the fastest without hitting down any. So that's where the real competition is in show jumping. Excellent. Awesome so, uh, uh, Julian, tell us, my daughter, we came to Jamaica, we wanted to show jump, but yeah. um, the sport is not really a cheap one. How much, yes, yeah. um, how much support did you get growing up? Well, for, for me personally, I mean, I, I, I always give thanks for, for the parents that I had. Um, my mother was always supportive of anything that um, I wanted to do. Um, I remember back in the days, she used to have fish fry and soup days and, and everything just to raise funds for me to travel, to compete and everything like that. Mm. I also got a lot of help from my coaches. Um, I have to say Mrs. Betty Waite, she's been really instrumental in, in me developing as a horseman. And I mean, she really helped me. I mean, out of her own pockets a lot of the time to, to get me to, to certain places. So I've gotten help along the way. I've been really lucky um, to, to, to really reach this far in, in, in my sport. And I just give thanks for that, you know? Awesome. Mm. Let me say, where there's a will, there's a way, you know? I like that. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right, so, so show jumping, though, it has taken you around the world. Um, give us some of the places that you've been because of show jumping. Well, it, it really started for me here um, in the region, in the Caribbean, especially the English-speaking Caribbean. We have a competition called the Caribbean 
equestrian association show jumping competition that we used to have and we used to travel through trinidad antigua barbados bermuda came and as i said a lot of the english speaking um countries and that's where i really started internationally and then we went out through the region in latin america um competing in costa rica guatemala um also in the states in wellington west palm beach is um like the first capital of the state so I've ridden in, in Wellington, also in Europe. Um, I've gone to Germany to compete in the um, PSI dressage finals. That was when I was about 14 years old. Um, but, you know, it's really taken me a lot of places. And, you know, it's something that I really want to try and, you know, let not just, you know, who can afford it have that experience, but, you know, the regular person can actually even just get the experience of getting to know a horse you know, getting to ride them, getting to interact with them is, is really an amazing animal. That's excellent. So um, speaking of which, you are now a teacher. Tell us about your company. All right. So um, my company is, is Hide Riding Academy. Um, it's recently started just this year, but I've been coaching now. I got my level one coaches um, certification in 2009. So I've been a coach um, on paper. For, for probably about 10 years or 12 years now. But um, I'm, I'm coaching at um, the Kingston Polo Club now for, for about three to four years now. And it's been, it's been really amazing. I love working with the young kids, really showing them what I've learned, um, giving them the experience that I've, um, that I've gotten. Um, I've had the chance to take riders through some of the same shows that I competed at as a, as a younger rider and um it's just good it's um we're based now at kingston polo club and um i know you guys will let everybody know the, the contacts to get in touch with me but um you know we're just looking to to as i said stretch it a little so that everybody can get a chance to to know these horses i mean as i said they're they're some of the most amazing creatures you can can get to know the, was to the polo, was to the polo clubhouse in the background to Julian, and, and yes, you mentioned yes. we also mentioned earlier about um, the sport not being cheap. So um, tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about the things that you are doing to to make it affordable for uh, less fortunate children who want to learn. Well, one of my um, main focuses and goals right now is is developing and building the horses that we have here now. Um, I don't know if you know, but a lot of the horses that we use, especially for our sport, are coming from the racetrack. A lot of them are older race horses. Some of them have old injuries. Mm -hmm. So my real goal is to really build what we have. And right now I'm in the process of training, retraining a lot of ex-race horses, building them up. So when we have the stock, I can be able to um, bring in you know, kids from different communities and from different areas that can come and experience the horses. So the main goal for this year is to really build the stock here so that going into um, 2022, we can have the horses available um, to to stretch it a little for everybody. I love that. And I love that it's a, there's a goal. I love that you're thinking about the horses and the riders. But I know there's persons watching that want to know more. And as you said earlier, mm -hmm. how can we find you on social media, Julian? All right, well, I'm on Instagram now, Hide Riding Academy. Um, that's the main source of, of contact. But if anybody wants to, to find out more about the sport, if you go on the Instagram page, there's a phone number there. You can call me. You speak to me directly. Um, I, and, uh, you know, I can give you all the little details of, of what it is. Um, I can just say that um, I know it's a, a quite an expensive sport, especially mm -hmm. getting in um, started mm -hmm. in the beginning, starting. But I'm I'm offering a, a program where you can come in and do three lessons with me um, at a reduced rate. Awesome. And if it's something that you catch on to and it's something that you love, then you know we can. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, Julia. Oh, <laughs> so that's a big up to... A little so that we all can enjoy. 
Ah, yeah, thanks, thanks Julius. Julius. That's High Hyde Riding Academy. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Craig, you have a quick shout out? Yeah, man. But more big up the, the whole of the Polo Club, to big up the whole of the trainer them out there too. Big up also to Orlando and Miss Concy and Bobby and the two picnic them. Big up on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> big <laughs> big up everybody you don't know. Thank coming you from Nadine. Much. Yeah, that's coming, coming from Nadine. From Nadine and that Nadine is an audience member. Um, when we used to, when audience did I keep. Mm -hmm. um, update yes. time lives. So big up yourself, Nadine. Big up yeah. to you as well. And I also want to say a shout out to Dr. Wade, Camille and Adam from the Maxfield Park Health Center. And this is coming from Vinette. She said, thank you so much. You know why. Big up yourselves. Guys, please remember to check on your loved ones, right? And big up Shark Boss from, 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 from Trench Town. So Shark Boss from Trench Town. <laughs> and big up Patrick from Majestic Gardens. Patrick from Majestic Gardens, who else? Yeah, and Lani and Chris from Harbour Street. Big up on yourself. Everybody, please remember to check on your loved ones. And I want and to big up Indy too. Best yeah. soup. Soup, Indy. Support as a community. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll be back on Tuesday with much more buzz, chat, vibe, and mix. Stay safe and wash your hands. Mask up and keep your distance. I just turn a yard as much as possible. Corona is a thing still. You know what I mean? Big up on yourself. Blessings. Blessings, darling. <laughs>